Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing great. Today we are going to talk about why we store fuel in wings. Let's get start. First of all, let's talk about fuel a little bit. Aviation fuel is an important aspect as it accounts to the aircraft's performance during lift or takeoff and also contributes to the additional weight of the aircraft that changes throughout the flight course of the airplane. For these reasons, it is essential to pay attention to the storage of the fuel in aircraft. Since history, fuel tanks have been installed in various regions of the aircraft body to get maximum efficiency – nose, main body, wings and so on. Here you are a bonus information. Do you know that the Airbus 380-800, the largest passenger jetliner, has the capacity to hold a total of 258 tons of fuel and it has no center tank. So most of the fuel in the that Airbus type is stored in wings. And now Let's find out why we store fuel in wings. First one is space utilization. Due to being hollow, wings have a lot of unused space under the aerofoil. Apart from mechanical and electronic components that make up the structure of the wings, there remains free space for storage of fuel. There are many structure supports and the wing is long and thin. So only a liquid can be stored there in any useful amount. And number two, preventing flutter of wings. Aircraft wings are susceptible to flutter during flat conditions due to various force and movements developed on the wings. Flutter is random vibration of the aircraft wings because of the airflow over it. Flutter over larger magnitudes is so dangerous that it can even result in total failure or collapse of the wing. When these wings are used as fuel tanks, the weight of the fuel helps reducing the flutter by providing rigidity to the wings. Flutter over larger magnitude is so dangerous that it can even result in total failure or collapse of the wing. When these wings are used as fuel tanks, the weight of the fuel helps reducing the flutter by providing rigidity to the wing. Number 3. To control the position of the center of gravity. Center of gravity is an important factor that affects the flight dynamics and control. Incorporating the wings with the fuel tanks keep the center of gravity more or less in the desired position. If the tanks are at the nose or tail of the aircraft, there will be a large change of momentum during flight because of the fuel consumption. The longitudinal center of gravity is important for an aircraft stability and control, and any large variation in its position is not desired for the flying aircraft. As a matter to counter this phenomenon, the fuel is first consumed from the center tank and then the wing tanks. Number 4. To increase payload capacity. Putting the fuel in the wings also means that you can put more passengers or cargo into the airplane without making it any larger. Number 5. Fuel counters the stress. Fuel acts as a counter stress for the wings shortly after takeoff when the great stress of the aircraft mass acts on them. This prevents a large change in the wing dihedral angle. This effect is so great that on the Boeing 747, Queen of the Skies, that if only the center tank was filled, I mean leaving the wing tanks empty, and the plane would take off 
do Vinx Flute Simple Snap. Due to this reason, fuel is first consumed from the center tank and then the wing tanks. Conversely, during refueling, the wing tanks are filled initially and then the center tanks. And the last one is safety. It is much safer to store fuel in the wings, away from the fuselage where passengers are seated or the payload is stored in case of emergencies.